Hi guys, today you're here with me, Amar, and I'm Afik from Spa TV channel SMK Penang Kementing. Today we have Mr. Jones here. How are you, Mr. Jones? Hi. I'm doing well. How are you all? Okay, we're doing good as well. So today we're exploring the wonder of creative media with Mr. Taylor Jones, an LA-based media producer. So for my first question, can you please briefly describe your experience in media production? Yeah, um, I went to college for film and uh, to be a filmmaker. And while in college, I learned a bit of journalism and went from that film degree and that film school training into uh, a career in journalism, filmmaking, and podcasting. So I've done news journalism, I've done um, music, entertainment journalism, and culture. Uh, and, and most recently, I've been directing and also uh, podcast producing and creating. So I've been doing all different kinds of things visually and in audio. I see. Okay. Yeah. So since you're active in the LA media industry, can you share with us some big names you have uh, interviewed for? Maybe some worldwide uh, famous people? Sure. Uh, yeah, I've, uh, in my different work, I've worked with Kendrick Lamar, uh, former Ooh. President Barack Obama. Um, <laughs> wow. I've worked with uh, Camila Cabello, Ooh, Thundercat, yeah. Bernie Sanders, um, Joe Biden, President Joe Biden, um, President Killer Mike. Mike. Yeah, uh, and and a, and a host of other different musicians and politicians and and people. I see. Okay. So for my third question is, how do you see your career prospects in the media generate a bright future? Yeah. Um, so I I understand that question as I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. I think what I said last time. Yeah, I think like I said. Um, or my, I may have mentioned, you know, I think it's important as a media professional to um, build relationships, you know, and to invest in other people, whether that's collaborators, whether that's contemporaries, other people that are working in media that you know, who are similarly passionate and, um, you know, excited about the work and you invest in those people and they invest in you. And uh, you just continue to grow these relationships because as you're on your path as a journalist, um, they are on their paths as well. And you'll see people continue to go and climb and, and you will as well. And that kind of makes for more opportunities. And uh, yeah, it's a kind of virtuous cycle. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. So I think, do you have any questions for Mr. Jones? Uh, yes. <laughs> What's your biggest challenge being in the media world? That's a great question. Um, I would say my biggest challenge personally is, you know, defining my value as a creator and as a professional. You know, for many years I worked full time for a company and for different, uh, you know, media organizations, news magazines, outlets, you name it. But more, more recently I've been working freelance for myself, you know, and going out and making uh, opportunities. and. The hardest thing with that is trying is, is is getting you know the amount of money that you want, but also getting the right control and freedom and independence that you have, so that you can yeah just you know maintain some control of your life and what you're doing. Um, everybody has a boss at the end of the day, you know. Everybody has a, a, a boss, but um, yeah, defining your value and 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 you know what what success means to you. That's something I feel like is my my greatest challenge but i feel like i'm doing okay but yeah oh that's great and the last one is can you share one or two success stories that will motivate youngster who want to pursue, pursue a career a career just like yours sure so i moved to new york city in 2015 uh i didn't have a job but i knew of uh, some people that i that I, I knew i had interned there um, that I thought I would have a job. And so I moved there. I thought I was gonna get a job with a company. It didn't happen. And I was feeling very sad and very depressed because I didn't know if I was gonna be able to find a job. I was 22 years old. I was out of college for a year and I was just looking for my first job of any kind to get started. And um, near the end of that summer, I was thinking about going back home going to school to college again 
so that I could restart and go back later. But right before I made that decision, I was offered an internship. I actually was, I got three different openings for internships, one job, two internships. And I found a great opportunity. I was hired for that. And that internship became a job, which became the next job, which became the next job and, and so forth. So yeah, you have to be very motivated. You have to be your own, you know, your own engine um, because there's a lot of people that want to do what you do. And, you know, journalism and media is a very competitive field. Yeah, you have to find your drive and you have to stay, um, uh, what they call, what they say in America, to stay hungry, you know, you have to stay passionate. <laughs> um, yeah, Cause, and, in, and in my case, I actually had to stay hungry because I was in New York and I was oh. poor. <laughs> so, so, uh, so yeah, I had to really stay hungry and, you know, I was eating dollar slices of pizza at night, you know, just to afford living there because it's very expensive. Um, so that's, that's one story. And then another story for a youngster, um, a few years ago, I had a podcast that I had, um, excuse me. I was telling a story, I was making a podcast about some musicians that I worked on for two and a half years. Um, I was doing this on my own independently. Uh, I was reporting it. No, nobody was making me do this. I was just kind of doing this to, to create it on my own. And I was selected into a very uh, cool uh, market to you know sell the show and to, and to make it for a network. And um, right when that happened, the musicians told me they didn't want to work with me anymore um, and that they had done something with a different person that they hadn't told me. Um, so they, they kind of, they betrayed our relationship a bit. And it was really sad and it was really um, unfortunate. But, you know, I took that in stride and there were other things that I was working on. And so I made a, a, a switch and I went into another direction and was able to really have a lot of success in that. And that led to my most recent job uh, as a producer for the Big Hit Show because I met some people and yeah, you know, like the, the, the essence of the story is that, you know, you, there will be all kinds of surprises in your career. Um, everything won't go according to plan, but you have to remain uh, optimistic and you know, you just find a way to work around um, whatever, you know, things happen. Just just stay driven. All right. Thank you, Mr. Taylor. I think that's all from us. Yeah. Thank you so much for spending your time with us. It's been an honor. Thank you so much. Can I, can I ask you one question? Yeah, sure. sure. <laughs> what, what, are you, what are you all hoping to do? What do you want to do? So we're, I think all of us uh, as a group, we're hoping to strive way further, like just like this, uh, we're striving to we're interview someone from an international level. So I think the next level, the next point is just to like get more, uh, get more further, be more, uh, achieve more success as a group. As a awesome. Group. Well, you guys are doing it already. This is really cool. Um, you both seem very young and you're already very, very good at interviewing. And um, yeah, I encourage you to continue on and and um, yeah, just t take everything in stride, be patient, uh, and, you and you'll get very far along. All right, All right. so thank you. Um, just a bit, can you like uh, say our motto for us? Our Absolutely. Motto, our school motto, uh, uh, which is spark, spark, hey, bye. Like this. Spark, hey, bye. Like this. Uh, you do like this, the, this is a hand movement. Spark, hey, bye. Yeah, yeah like this. Like this. Uh, <laughs> spark, hey, bye. Yeah. yeah. Okay. One more time. One more time. One more time. Okay. One, two, two three. Spark heba. Spark heba. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, of course. Thank you. I love that. Spark heba. <laughs> thank you. Wait, you wanna learn? Uh, wanna teach him some uh, Tanganyu words? Uh, one more. One more. Uh, kemah bo. Kemah bo. Yeah. Kemah mean bo. Yeah, it means uh, excellent. So the food is like really excellent. Gumaba, like this, like that. Gumaba, <laughs> yeah, like that. Uh, Can you, uh, one more time, awesome. just one more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gumaba, 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 gumaba. Alright, show your thumbs up. <laughs> thumbs up like this. Gumaba. 
Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Come on, Bob. Need to push. Okay. Uh, so uh, we need to push so, uh, for some more time. Uh, any more questions? Uh, you'd, like, uh, you'd like to add? Um, any so, advice or something? Like just like this? Well, yeah, I'm curious about you. I would. I want to interview you almost. Um, <laughs> yeah. What? Uh, who, sure. who? Who would you like to interview next? Uh, oh, that's that's an interesting question. Who would? Uh, I think maybe after this we would go for a media practitioner or someone just like that. Uh, maybe are some artists, some famous artists, international level. Yeah, something like that. Here's what you should uh, do. Yes. You should go online and find, because this is something that I've done a lot in my career, you know, like mm -hmm. you can find almost anyone's email address online with enough, mm -hmm. you know, enough research and you yeah. should send out emails and just ask people politely if they have time to do a video interview or email because you never know, people will, will, will respond and they, they might have the time and the interest in talking to you. So. Definitely don't be afraid to ask that, you know, there's so much available online and on the internet. Thank you. That, that's, uh, that was some wonderful tips for, uh, from you. Very grateful for your time. And Afid, do you have anything to add? Mm, yeah, that's it. Uh, so uh, lastly, we wish you all the best. Yeah. Uh, it's been a lovely time together. And yeah, peace out, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> peace out. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Peace. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.